together and we're in one accord to worship and adore Jesus Christ our Lord we're here together one heart one mind one soul just to love him more and more Jesus Christ our Lord We're here together Just to love him more and more, Jesus Christ our Lord. Just to love him more and more, just to serve him more and more, just to give him more and more, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible speaks about fellowship. It's the word koinonia in the underlying text. Think of a coin and onia, koinonia. Fellowship means having in common, having in common. This month we've been talking about fellowship quite a bit. And there are many, many references to God's people being together in one place in one accord. Of course, the book of Acts begins that way and continues. They continued steadfastly. And as a result of that, the church at Jerusalem had tremendous, tremendous influence. And there were many, many thousands who were saved and, and affiliated with that first church. They didn't have a building, but they had, according to Josephus, a historian, over 50,000 members in that first church. Think about that. And that's what the Spirit of God working through us can accomplish. Fellowship. It says in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 5, for your fellowship, your koinonia, in the gospel from this first day until now. What does it mean to be together? Does it mean simply to uh, like one another, to have things uh, on the uh, human level in common, same age group, same background, uh, same racial makeup, same language, uh, same interests, same jobs, same uh, financial status, and uh, you know, same kind of cars parked in the parking lot. In fact, that's just the opposite of what the local church is and what koinonia is. Koinonia is about having Jesus Christ and the work of the Spirit in our life and the Word of God in common with others without anything else being in common. We, we could even be speaking different languages, be from totally different racial backgrounds. The world wants to divide us up. There is a movement today that wants to categorize people by the color of their skin or by their uh, origin or by their language or by their culture and all of these, of course, are of the flesh. And occasionally there'll be those who will try to play that game. And that's what it is. It's the devil's game. And they don't realize it always, but sometimes uh, they're, they're an uh, unwitting tool of the devil and the world and the flesh to try to divide people up according to natural designations. When in reality, we have koinonia. We have fellowship, we have oneness, we have one accordedness in and through Jesus Christ. And so I wrote this, I don't write many songs that sound like this. This, uh, this approaches being a worship song 
Although I'm not into the contemporary praise and worship movement, but we're here together. We're in one accord to worship and adore Jesus Christ, our Lord. We're here together, one heart, one mind, one soul, just to love him more and more, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we have Jesus Christ in common and that you've torn down the wall of partition between different uh, designations, different groups. Thank you, Lord, that under the roof here at our church, Lord, and as it ought to be in every church, we're a New Testament church, and it doesn't matter what a person's race, their background, their language, their culture, their station in life, none of that matters. All that matters is Jesus Christ. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you'd like to come to Christ, would you pray right now? Something like this, Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I need to be saved. I ask Jesus in my heart, please save me right now and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? I'd sure love to know about it. Won't you get in touch with me and let me know that you prayed to receive Jesus Christ. I'd love to help you. And soul winners keep after those lost souls. Win them to Jesus regardless of who you are and regardless of where they are. Just reach them if you can with the gospel. Let the Spirit of God, let the love of Jesus draw them to salvation. And right now, if you need to confess anything, maybe there's been divisiveness or a schismatic attitude about designations and, and what's not fair, or just, or equitable. The Lord knows that in this life there's very little that we can call just or equitable. But uh, even though we as Christians live right toward one another, the world's not going to change. And you can't legislate that so much, but it's a personal thing. So right now, just settle that. Put that under the blood. Let's go on. Let's move on, shall we? Lord Jesus, thank you that we are one in the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Won't you sing with me? We're here together and we're in one accord to worship and adore Jesus Christ our Lord. We're here together, one heart, one mind, one soul, just to love Him more and more, Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless you as you worship Him today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.